for our Casey's General Store Midwest Mob Heat Class Heat Race number one. As they be rolling the track here, you get the track rolled in the top and the bottom. Here's your lineup for tonight's heat race number one. Starting on the pole out of Dix, out of Ozark, Missouri, it'll be the 57 of Austin Dixon. On the outside of Austin Dixon will be the 12M of Ron Maples out of Crane, Missouri. Row number two on the inside and car number 34 out of Greenfield, Missouri to be Jacob Long. And on the outside of Jacob Long out of Joplin, Missouri in the 6H, it'll be Will Hibden. Row number three on the inside in the 2060 out of Spokane, Missouri, it'll be the 2060 of Jonathan Dean. On the outside of him in the 3366 from Republic, Missouri, Jaron Hart, Jaron Martin. And then row number four, and then the car number one, it'll be the, out of Joplin, Missouri, it'll be Nathan Breezy. Here we go, lights are off around the quick quarter mile Springfield Raceway as we get ready to kick off the second annual Saturday Night Lights Showdown 100, night number one with our Casey's General Store Town Hall sponsor, with the sponsor of the Midwest Mob B Class. Green flag here, and we're racing up. Maples comes down the front way in turn number one as Dixon's on the inside. Maple in the 12M up high as now he'll shoot off down the back straight away with the 6H of Will Hibden on the outside of the 57 of Dixon. Hibden now on the inside of the 12M of Maples as Maples getting a little loose there as he get a little wobbly there in turn number four. The 6H of Hibden will take advantage and now be your race leader. As a 34 of Jacob Long in second there. Long in the blue 34 come out of turn number four, but the 6H of Hibden is still your leader there. As now he has a three car wing sleeve there on the 34 of Long. But look who's right there in third in the 33 of Jaron Martin. Martin there in the third spot now. As we're pretty much single file now, all the way around the quick quarter mile Springfield Raceway. As a 34 of Wong trying to catch up to the 6H of Hibden, but as he is gaining ground, the 33 of Jaron Martin is also gaining ground as he is right there as well. As now your top three closing in together here as a 6H of Hibden trying to hold on to the lead now as the 33 of Martin on the outside of the 34 of Wong. Long now on the inside of the 6H of Hibden as they come out the front straight away. Going in turns one and two. Long on the inside, Hibden on the outside. Now Hibden in front of 34 of Long as now as a 33 of Martin now looking on the outside of Hibden. But the 34 of Long now will go on the inside of Hibden. As a 34 now, your race leader. What a great race these three, is, three drivers right here are starting off the first the second annual night number one show down 100 as a white flag is out one more lap to go as a 34 of long is still your leader as here comes a 33 of martin now making a hard charge out of turn number two as now he'll take over the lead as he will go into turn number three and four checker flag in the air who's it going to be the 33 of jared martin with the win, the 34 of Jacob Long, second. What a great race to start off the second annual Saturday Night Night Showdown 100 as a Casey's General Store Midwest Mom Peak Class Heat Race number one threw it down on the quick quarter mile Springfield Raceway. As here comes heat race number two. Starting on the pole from Branson, Missouri, and car number 11 will be Justin Yako. On the outside of him, out of Joplin, Missouri, and this is our car number 75 to be Gage Garrott. Row number two on the inside out of Rogersville, Missouri, and car number 53 to be Jordan Goddard. And on the outside of Jordan Goddard, it'll be the 51 uh, out of Springfield, Missouri, Kim Walker. 
Row number three on the inside from Lockwood, Missouri. In car number 11, it'll be Riley Duncan on the outside of him. And nine, the six, it'll be the 96 of Justin Parrish. And then it'll be the 12X of Darren Burt out of Marionville, Missouri. Lights are off. Here we go. As they roll on the turn number three and four. Green flag in the air and we're racing. Carroll off with a great start as he goes down the back straightaway up the lead with the 11 of Yeko in second now. He's losing positions now as the fifth, the 60, the 56, the 96 of Justin Parrish is in second. Walker down the inside of the six, 53 of Goddard battling back there for third as they go down the back straightaway. But the 75 of Garrett comes in out of turn number four with the lead as the 96 of Parrish right there in second but the battle there for third still going on there between the 51 of walker as now the 11 of duncan now on the outside of the 51 of walker but now the battle for the lead is getting hot now from the 75 of garrett on the inside and the 96 of parish on the outside as now parish is your new race leader as they come out of turn number two the 75 of garrett is in second and the 53 of goddard in third 96 of Parrish now has a four car length lead there on the fifth the 75 of Garon as that battle there for fifth between them two cars is going on pretty good now as 51 of Walker catching up to the 53 of Goddard and the 75 of Garon. But way out in front in car number 96, it's Justin Parrish. But right behind them, a lot of great racing going on there behind them as the 53 of Garrod's in second. The 51 of Walker in third. White flag is out for the 96 of Justin Parrish. One more lap to go. As now the 51 of Walker now on the inside of the 53 of Goddard. Keep your eye there on that battle there for a second as the 96 of Justin Parrish is coming out of turn number four. Checker flag in the air for the 96 of Justin Parrish, the 53. Jordan Goddard second. Great heat race there for their Casey General Store, Midwest Mont B class, heat race number two. But now coming onto the racetrack is our heat race number three. Starting on the pole in car number 65 out of Aurora, Missouri to be Kevin Eubanks on the outside of him out of Nixon, Missouri in car number 77. It'll be Frank Woods Cabbage. On the inside of row number two, it'll be the 23 of Allen Let Yohan of Republic, Missouri. On the outside of him will be the 22 out of Springfield, Missouri, Chad Donaldson. And then row number three on the inside out of Fair Grove, Missouri, will be the 17L of Rick Lampy. And on the outside of him will be the 003 out of Carthage, Missouri, of James Lee. Lights are off. Green flag this time by. As they roll out of turn number four, green flag back in the air, and we're racing. Eubanks out in front as Alan Leia Hahn in the 22 of Donaldson. Battling there as the 77 of Frank West Cabbage goes off the back stretch there. He'll pull into the pits now as a 50. 65 of Eubanks is your leader now. As a 17L of Lampy on the inside. Here comes the double zero three of Lee. Lee and Eubanks battling there for the lead as Eubanks up high. As he'll lose a little few positions now. As a double zero three of James Lee is out in front now as he comes out of turn number four with the 17L of Lampy in second. 22 of Donaldson there in third. A lot of damage there to that right rear quarter panel. The holding on to that third spot right there as a double zero three of James Lee has a two car length lead there, three car length lead on a 17L of Rick Lampy.
That's a 23 as Allen let you haul off the pace there. He'll pull into the pits now as a 003 of James Lee still out in front as he started six already up there in the lead. As a 17L of Rick Lampy started on the inside of him. As you're fifth and sixth position up there in your top two with the double zero three of James Lee coming out of turn number four, white flag in the air. One more lap to go for the double zero three of James Lee. The 17L of Rick Lampian in second and a 22 of Chad Donaldson in third. Coming out of turn number four, the double zero of James Lee will take home. He raced for number three, the 17 of Rick Lampian second. And the 22 of Chad Donaldson, third. 